Welcome to the Low Voltage Electrical Shocks Overview. This video is a brief overview. If you have any concerns about electrical safety and construction, please contact SA Power Networks or a licensed electrician. In order to understand why electric shocks can occur, we need to show how the electricity network works. Let's start with a simple diagram to explain. To provide power to the electrical appliances within the home, alternating current electricity flows through two wires, the active orange and the neutral black. To complete the electrical circuit back to the source, the transformer on the left hand side of this diagram. Now, what happens if the neutral is broken or disconnected, breaking the circuit? Well, the network is designed so that the neutral is connected to a backup return path through the ground by using the earth. And in this instance, the home will still have electricity powering its appliances. Just like most of your electrical appliances, metallic water pipes are also connected to the earth in accordance to the Australian standard. This is a good thing however, because if by fault the active becomes connected to an appliance or the metal water pipes, it has a safe path back to the earth and will open the protective circuit breaker or blow the fuse. Okay, but what if the earth connection also gets broken? Then, most of the electricity we use the water pipes connection as its return path. And a break in the earth connection means that the safety switch or circuit breakers cannot be activated. This can be a problem because electricity always looks for the easiest way back to the source, the transformer, through the path of least resistance. You are now at risk. When you touch a metal tap, since your feet are on the ground, you now also complete the electric circuit. So you might experience a dangerous electric shock as electricity can flow through you too. In reality, there is always electricity flowing, but the network is constructed so that most of it takes the easiest path, through the neutral or the earth, instead of flowing through you. In this diagram, let's use the line thickness and glow to represent the connection path quality and the strength of electricity flow. See the bottom line is very weak, because the connection is poor, this is why we are normally safe when we touch a metal tap. Because the electricity flow through us is too weak to cause any harm. However, if both the neutral and the earth connection become damaged, corroded or in poor condition over time, there is a risk of receiving an electric tingle or worse, an electric shock when touching a metal tap or electrical appliance and becoming part of the electricity's path. It doesn't take much electricity to be very dangerous, so it's important you think about your own safety and the safety of others. If you experience an electric tingle or shock, contact SA Power Networks 131366 or a licensed electrician in order to make safe and find the issue that needs to be addressed. SA Power Networks will not charge for attendance of a safety issue.